Hi, this is me. We interrupt this episode to bring you an important Tom's Turbo Garage news update. Hi, everybody. This is me again, and this time around I just wanted to put out a little update since I have a bunch of news to share. First off, I'm amazed by all the new YouTube subscribers. We're now over 800 strong and approaching 1 million total video views. Frankly, I sit in amazement that so many people want to see me cornballing it up in the garage. But hey, as long as y'all keep telling me you like it, I'll keep doing it. So thank you for all of your support, positivity, and motivation. Next, many of you have been asking when new videos will be coming, or even giving me ideas for future ones. I really do appreciate this, and I'm glad everyone's looking forward to this stuff, but it's been the busiest and most stress-filled summer of my life by far. It seems like I'm constantly on the run, never stopping for anything. And when I do have a single free moment to spend in the garage, I'm working like a madman. Yeah, a non-stop wrenching machine, itching with determination and scratching and digging at the bottom until it works its way to the very end of its task list. <sighs> I tell you, I'm getting a little tense just talking about it. But I will not rest, I will not sleep, not even for a moment, until I give you, my internet friends, some quality garage-based car guy homemade TV show entertainment. There, I feel better. And from the awful news department, our beloved cat, Honey, who gave me a hand, or paw, in the last video, has passed on. He lived a good long life, but I can't help but feel as if his internet fame had just begun. He was a good, friendly cat, and I miss him. Okay, time for car news. Part of the reason that video plans have been derailed has been the unrelenting heat we've had this summer. For example, I plan to race my Talon at the drag strip and Miata at the autocross, but the over 100 degree temps thwarted my efforts. When things slow down a bit around here and the temps cool off, I'll be hitting the track and getting it all on video for you. Speaking of the Talon, I have been loving the new turbo setup. I've driven it all around and hauled all sorts of stuff with it too. Gotta love a hatchback. Also, I'm currently in the process of ditching the Lancer Evo 8 mass airflow sensor and converting the car to ECM Link's speed density setup. Here you can see the bits that I ordered from ECM Link, which I already have installed but haven't tuned as of yet. Also, many folks ask about the Grand National that you often see hanging out in the background of my videos. I do plan to feature it in a video of some sort, but until then I just enjoy cruising around in it. It's like a time machine that instantly transports you back to the 80s. My grocery getting ISF will be in an upcoming video too, as I have some little odds and ends that need to be taken care of with it. So there will be some cool stuff coming, it just may take longer than I'd like to share it with you guys. I literally have over a hundred fun video ideas. Time has just been limited for me. Thanks for understanding and hanging in there. This is an especially tough subject, but I've sold my beloved Turbo Miata Sunflower. I told myself I wasn't going to cry in this video in front of all of you, <laughs> but here we are. <sighs> On a positive note, it went to a great new owner, who I know will love it and take great care of it. Man, I get attached to cars. Now, something has taken the Miata spot in the garage. I'm going to give you a few hints, and the first person to guess or get really close to the year make and model will get an extra special shout-out in my next video. Okay, here we go.